almost at the eight. All right, it's almost winter time. Well, it is winter time. It's November, and I'm finally getting around to installing my um, high idle switch. So this is the plug here for the um, coolant temperature sensor, uh, and I've got uh, uh, blue and yellow, and I've uh, done these connections um, so that the blue goes to the blue and vice versa. Um, all of the num all of the uh, this is a factory plug. All of the part numbers and for the pins and the plugs are on my Google Plus page that I made for this. And uh, there's lots of different ways you can do it. The wiring diagrams are on there. I'm doing this to a single toggle switch so that when it's flipped, the uh, air intake sensor thinks that it's below freezing and the um, coolant temperature sensor thinks that it's below sill. Uh, this will be a forced high idle. This is a um, double pole, oh no, a quadruple pole double throw switch. It was like 10 bucks. I can put the link in the description if anyone wants to do it. You can also use a series of four toggle switches for the um, MPG fuller and everything, but I just wanted to be simple about it. This looks really complicated, but it's really not. Two resistors right here and right here. Um, I forget what the what the readings are. It was like 78 kilo ohms and 3.3 kilo ohms. So, so this is the coolant side. This is the um, the uh, air side. So it's pretty simple. So that's this wiring harness for the air intake and the um, the uh, no, I'm sorry, not the air intake. The, that the the yellow and blue one is the coolant temperature plug, which is right here. So you unplug this and you splice in your switch, which takes it up front. And the um, the air intake is back there, um, which is, uh, this is the plug that's in the side of the block. It's a Delphi uh, plug, and then the other end is right here. It's a gray plug. So I'm getting ready to, do. I, just, I just unplugged that one, which I don't think you can see it, but it goes right into the side of the block. It's kind of a bitch to get to. So you just um, unplug that switch, splice this in between, and I'm gonna run it up through the firewall right there. And uh, and then the air intake, or, I'm sorry, the coolant temperature, uh, I'll just run it here and then probably run it up the dipstick or something like that. So, well, the, these plugs are a little, kind of a pain in the ass to uh, figure out these, these pins when you go to insert these pins. Um, you have to push them in, you have to push the wire in through the switch and then connect the pin and pull it back. The pins on these gray ones are the ones that have this little tab that goes in the slots in the top. The uh, the one for the coolant temperature, it looks exactly the same, but it's different a little bit. So here's the black one. It's also a pain in the ass to get in, but these pins to be the same actually yeah these I think these are the same yeah I think it's one pin I had ordered the wrong pins at one point but yeah this appears to be the same as well um, so but the difference in the plugs is that uh, this one is a half moon to get it to slide in you can set those slots so that's pretty much the difference you can set it up with four toggle switches to one toggle switch to enable it second toggle switch to either option to be uh, a three cylinder idle or six cylinder idle uh, another toggle switch could be for mpg fuller and then the last one would be to force it to stay into high idle um, i'm just going to have it to be forced into stay into high idle and then the other option is to turn it off that's all i want because i'm never going to let this thing idle by itself and I'm never going to really use it unless it's deathly cold and I need to warm the truck up really quickly. So, okay, I'm, uh, I've got the connections made down there, which you may or may not be able to see. Let's really get a good shot. Right there. Um, and I c you cannot see the one. I think it's. My camera will focus, but you can't see the one down in there, but. I've got the wire fed into wire loom, and uh, I'm gonna route it up here and zip tie it with this 
existing harness and bring it down and punch a hole through it there. And I'm going to do this one at a time. The only thing I've realized I may have screwed up on was you've got to have the black go to the black and the red go to the red. So you have to make sure that you, that you know which are, which are paired together. So I tied the two together. <coughs> so I'll probably feed these through first and connect them to the switch and then feed the other two because these are coming from the computer and uh, that's kind of important you need to know which ones are which so okay I got the uh, <clears throat> coolant temperature sensor spliced in my fancy wire loom there's a wiring harness down here for the alternator underneath this coolant hose and I routed it with that and then just across here and I went underneath the brake. I'm trying to do it so that I don't get it doesn't get in my way. But uh, I just spliced it down here underneath the brake lines and I'm gonna fish that through the hole. Yeah. Alright well I got the switch wired now. It looks like a bloody mess but um, you know it should work okay. Um, got black going to black, red going to red, blue going to blue, yellow going to yellow. So it should work out alright. I'm going to restart my truck and try it. And I'll install the switch. It'll be about right here. Alright, I just started my truck up. So, I'm going to switch on. any questions feel free to ask it's pretty simple I'd say it's about 30 bucks and an hour the plug is wiring those plugs were the, was the hardest part short of that it's pretty simple so thanks for watching and just so everyone can see there's the finished product right there so can't even see it like from the outside of the truck <laughs>